Hi guys, this is Amuz. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up the necessary infrastructure for testing an Aurelia application using Jest as the testing framework. There are so many JavaScript testing frameworks out there and you're free to choose whatever you are comfortable with. The reason I chose Jest is because it is fast and relatively easy to set up. It has a powerful mocking library for functions and modules already built in. It has other features like code coverage reports without any additional setup and watch mode so that the tests run while you're working on your code to give you instant feedback. Most importantly, it works with TypeScript through TSGest. This is important because I like coding with the TypeSafe TypeScript language than to code in vanilla JavaScript. So let's see how we can set up Jest in our Aurelia application. For this, we are going to use the Aurelia application that we scaffolded using the .NET Core CLI. I'll put a link in the description to that video if in case you haven't seen it yet. So let me do some cleanup with the scaffolded application that we created last time. I'm going to open tsconfig.json file, look for the strict option and convert, change that from true to false. So, so that I can disable all strict type checking options. This means no implicit any is disabled as well and no implicit this is disabled as well. The next, I'm going to delete the npm shrinkwrap.json file. Uh, the npm shrinkwrap um, JSON file lets you lock down the version numbers of all the packages and their descendant packages in your node modules directory. This file lists the exact package versions of all the installed packages in the entire hierarchy. If you check this into source control, and let's say your colleagues clone and does an npm install, they will get the exact packages, package versions for the full hierarchy as specified in this file. You can see how this could be useful. However, uh, we don't need this as um, I prefer yarn instead of npm as yarn is deterministic, which means it ensures without shrink wrap that you're getting, you're getting the same thing on every development machine. It also parallelizes operations and can install packages offline if you already have installed the package before. There are many more benefits. I suggest you look at their readme file. For now, I'm going to delete this file. Next thing that I'm going to do is change the file structure a little bit. I'm going to add a few directories inside app. One is called atoms. We already have components. I'm going to add a new folder, modules, and another folder called pages. Um, this is a pattern I follow while designing my apps. This is a slightly modified version of the atomic design pattern. I'll go into this topic in a later video, but if you guys are curious, you can visit patternlab.io. That is P-A-T-T-E-R-N-L-A-B dot I-O for more instructions. So next, let's add the necessary libraries that we need for testing. Let me open my terminal window and use yarn to add as a dev dependency ts jest and types slash jest. That's for the TypeScript definition files. After the libraries are installed, we have to add a small configuration file in package.json file. We're going to add a new section for jest 
and inside this we're going to add a configuration I'm just going to copy paste this configuration here and let's go through that one by one so the first property is module file extensions which tells you which file extensions to use so it's ts typescript or um, tsx for react or js files so what to do with these file extensions so we say we have to tell just to transform all the ts or tsx files if you get that use the preprocessor.js that's present inside node modules ts just folder to process this process these files and transform them to javascript so the next thing is where do we find these files so we tell just to use a folder which is underscore underscore tests or any file which has dot test or dot spec dot ts jsx or tsx extensions this is a special naming convention that just uses so any file under under underscore underscore tests underscore underscore is considered as a test or alternatively you can name your file something dot test or something dot spec dot ts or js and it takes that as a test file as well so we have changed our package.json file let's save that the next thing to do is create a test folder I'm going to create a test folder outside called test and I'm going to write create a file called app.test.ts remember the file extension should be something.test or something.spec as we defined in the package.json file this is the convention from jest so before we start adding tests let's write a simple command in our package.json file let's go create a scripts section and then we'll add a script for test so this would be just minus minus watch all so basically this runs just with the watch all flag so that whenever you change the file the tests are running in the background so I see that we have a issue here because in package.json files name cannot be cannot have capital letters so that's fixed as well let's go to our command line and do yarn run test so you basically write yarn or npm run and then the script name here test so this should run just for us so as you can see it's running the running just for us and it failed that's normal because we have nothing in our test file so it says your test suit must contain at least one test that's obvious but as you can see this is watching all our changes so if you type something in our test file it's going to recompile the tests so let's write a simple test to make sure that all our testing setup is working and running as intended so we're going to describe a test suit describe let's see what we can test in the app module so let's do a basic test in the app module as you can see the red squiggly here means cannot find name describe you have to at least import just once in one of the files and now it's showing us the correct error expected two arguments but got one so the way to write that is describe app uh, describe with the name and then the function so inside describe we're going to test the name construct 
parameter is invoked and the function for that is we expect the app dot constructor to be defined sorry expect app dot construct constructor to be defined however the app is not defined yet so let's create a variable called app and then there is a function in just before each function what we can do is we can say app equals to new app or let's do like this way so that it auto imports the app for us as well so we create a very basic function we described a test module for app module and then before each test is executed we set up the app as a new app and then our first test constructor is defined we expect that the app the app dot constructor to be defined if we save this just is going to run automatically and we can see that we have one test suits and one tests and both of and the test passed great so we are ready to start testing and we will start testing once we start writing our first Aurelia component till then if you like these kinds of videos please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any feedback or questions please feel free to comment below 